everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pan. Today we are doing the first update for 2024 Partners in Cream. Of course, all the details with the project down in the description box below. So let's just dive right in. I have five items rolling style and we're going to start off with a one that has been a staple in this project since last year and I've been making steady progress on. This is my Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Socialite. We'll have a comparison of where I was last time. And you guys, this is making progress. We're here. This is gonna be really hard to see, so I'll just throw up a picture for you guys, but we can also try to do the back. That's what I've got left. It is getting very close to being done. I am wearing it all over the eyelid today. I only did use this five times since rolling it back into this project. So I still have some ways to go on this one, but it's getting closer every single time. I'm seeing progress each time I use it. Next up is my primer, getting into some of my staple everyday types of items. I was working on the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer in the Illuminating version. Now I've remarked everything so you guys can kind of see because they, they fade off so fast. I think I was about here as of the last month and it took me basically the entire time to do this. So from there, 34 uses, but now it is done. It is finished. I'm excited to get another primer out of my collection. Next up on the foundation I've been working on since December. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Foundation, whatever stuff all up there in one cool. I am making good progress on this one. Oh, I just shook it. Darn it, you guys. Sorry. Um, you can maybe all kind of see there to there is there a way not so well not so well apologies for shaking that out i'm making progress so getting there i imagine another two two and a half months on this one to get it finished off i do use it every day that one i've used 35 times since the last update now my concealer same one. This is the Item Beauty Air Hug Concealer in shade 110. You can't see anything in here, um, but like, oh, there's a tiny bit of windowing happening here. Um, but it's coming out pretty dry. So I think, yeah, it's looking kind of empty in there, but I'm, we're at that point where we'll get the stopper taken out and then I can try to scrape the sides. So I may have a month, two months, who knows? But we got progress. This concealer I have counted reapplications on, and it's up to 44. <laughs> so 44 uses since the last update to get us to this point where it's like, yeah, gotta get that stopper taken out. And finally, we had my lip balm. This was the Bali Balm in Sweet Orange and Coconut. I love this thing. This was my like overnight lip balm for months and months and months and months. Um, it smells good, it's hydrating, it's thick, but not sticky. It's stupid expensive, but I love this thing. It's been in my work bag most recently, and I was like way down here somewhere, and I'm gonna call it done. I don't mess around with lip products, and to try to squeeze anything out, like I have to go like this. I got a tiny little bit. Let's take that, because that's good stuff. But. Uh, now, of course, it's going to be all messy, but uh, there we go. There's some more. I'll use that too. But as you guys saw, it's a ton of work for me to squeeze anything out of this. So at this point, I'm going to call this done. We've got a strong start to the project with two empties. So let's talk about the replacements. So to replace my Laura Mercier primer, I'm going to roll in another primer. And this one is not going to be a surprise because I do tend to prefer having only one primer open at a time. But this one did make an appearance in my Roses Are Red project. For now that that one's coming up quick. But of course I had my 14 uses on this one pretty early. This is from Nude by Nature. This is their Perfecting Primer. Yeah, Perfecting Primer. 30 milliliters, so it's 20 milliliters less than the Laura Mercier one. Uh, good for six months after opening. And when you do a bit of a squeezy test, I think I'm a here to kind of get us started. So a long way to go. It's going to take a couple months to get through. It's a decent primer, so I will get it used up. 
And then to replace the lip balm, I'm gonna go in a completely different direction for that one um, because I have something that I had featured in my plan to pattern for 2024. This was in Throwback 30 with a goal that did get met in it for a usage goal. But I think I'm gonna want this one for spring. So a little bit early, because you know, it's February, but then I have it, it's ready to go. It is colorful, but still like nude enough that you could really easily wear it to work. And that is this Lancome Art Liner. Uh, this is in some kind of green shade. This sticker is way too small to read anything. Um, it's not my favorite style. I prefer pen style eyeliner rather than this whole system. But it is a very pretty green and it can work with a lot of looks and especially with the eyeshadows I have rolled in to my Use That Eyeshadow project. I've got two more kind of nude shades to work with. This goes well with it. So we'll see. There's still a fair amount coming out on the brush, but I have no way of really tracking this. So we'll just have to go by uses and we'll get it done when it gets done. But because it's an eyeliner, I don't want it sitting too long. And because it's a color eyeliner, I'm gonna reach for other things unless I prioritize it and put it in the project. Now goals for next month. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna set a bit of an ambitious goal here because I think it's time to finish this off. Like I mentioned, I only use it five times. That averages once a week, but it, I didn't use it for the first couple of weeks. So not so good there. But there's not a whole lot left Every time I have used it, I do see more of that pan being exposed. So, and there's so much air in here, you guys. Like, I've been working on this for years, so I just need to get it done. Can I do it in one month? If I set that as a goal and I don't make it, fine. But then at least I tried and I'll have it next month. Um, if I don't set this as a goal, I think I might just do my five uses that I've been normally doing and prioritizing other things and other projects. And this really should just simply get done. So that's going to be my super ambitious goal. Subscribe, stay tuned. So we'll see if in one month I get this guy finished. But that is everything. So that's going to wrap up today's Partners in Cream update number one for 2024. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.